All right, guys. So the K5 Blazer has blown the head gasket. I have uh, taken the plugs out, done a compression check, and these cylinders over here are way off. These over here are not much better. So, long story short, I'm going to buy a new block and put it in here. All this stuff pretty much that you see on the top is all new except for a few things but it'll give me a chance to take off this old AC stuff and kind of do some of the tight knit repairs I wanted to do before so this is the beginning and I think with this new carb intake and top end and everything it's gonna be really clean really nice have a new catalytic converter on new fuel system and fuel pumps underneath everything's ready to go so if I could just real get that block replaced I'm gonna be back in business so let's see what happens all right so to start the rebuild I'm gonna have to take off all this stuff on the top carburetor intake air cleaner all these heater hoses and everything and get the distributor off the back with all the spark plug wires just get it all out of there so I can get to the top of the engine. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So when you're down here, make sure to disconnect the fuel pump. If you don't disconnect the fuel pump, you can turn your key on or something. If the battery's still connected, the fuel will spray out since the carburetor's gone, right? So word of the wise. So at this point, I've taken everything off the top and I have all the bolts visible there's 10 bolts to hold this intake manifold on all the way around take this off take these exhaust manifolds off on both sides and then eventually I'm gonna have to take off all of this stuff on the front and probably the shroud too and all that's off and a few wires and everything you should be able to unbolt it from the transmission and hoist it out put the new one in and put everything back on top Alright, so now I'm going to take the intake manifold off. So, you see that oil in there, it's kind of milky color, it kind of shows the water getting in with the oil, and even there's some bubbly oil, so the water's mixing in with it, and uh, 
Yeah, other than that, it looks all right. I don't see any bent rods, but definitely a blown head gasket. So the next step will be taking off these exhaust manifolds.